Welcome to BestoCast and the first of the 2024 updates to the G.I. Joe portion of my collection. In this episode, we'll unpack the latest buzz from the Hasbro Classified line, share the insights of my NJCC adventure, a haven for G.I. Joe enthusiasts, and revisit some of the hidden gems that happened between the previous updates to now. So gear up, because in the realm of collecting, knowing is half the battle. Welcome back to BestoCast. I'm that pantsless producer, Paul. I reached out to a fan and fellow collector, and I asked them, what would they rather hear from me? They wanted to hear more about my collection. They didn't necessarily want to hear updates to the classified uh, lineup, uh, but yeah, they wanted to hear, like, the expansions to the Vintage Joes. Do I have anything... Uh, in the in the lineup of the three and a quarter inch line uh, between vintage and and now between the vintage and classified, I guess I should say. They knew that I went to NJACC, uh, New Jersey Comic Con, which is a, a convention that's geared towards like Joe collectors, and they wanted to know, you know, what was I looking for? What did I see? Uh, what did I bring back? The, the ultimate thing is, what did I pick up? I guess in one case, what I wish I would have picked up, or I wish I had the funds to pick up. So let's just name drop them here. Chris from Gorilla Boys Toys. Before I get into the new segment or uh, in the, the, the collecting segment uh, i really need you guys to like share subscribe with all that jazz that, that that youtube forces me to put in here otherwise you don't do it uh most of you don't do it anyway but that's okay if you have the means and you want to support besto tv or you want to get access to some of the behind the scenes stuff uh there i have a members area i have some merch uh I both support the show financially if you'd like to do that but it's not required the big thing that I do want to point out, though, is that please go to the community tab on my channel page because uh, I've been loading that up with trivia and polls. The trivia is just for fun, and I just post trivia uh, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's themed to whatever's going on for the month uh, because the uh, Sleepless Nights archive is coming over to Besto TV. This month's theme is all Mr. Lobo. Uh, trivia. Uh, so if you want to partake in the Mr. Lobo trivia or scan back and partake in all the other trivia that happened in the past, uh, that's located in the community tab. But the real thing that I wanted to talk about was the uh, the poll section uh, because I've been utilizing them to help develop future episodes and hopefully uh, garner better interaction, uh, uh, more interaction specifically with the fans of Besto TV. Uh, what you like to hear and, and, and have me talk about versus what I like to hear and want me to talk about so for example the name of this episode that you clicked on was the number one result that was uh, voted upon in that uh, community area so please go in there and uh, uh, vote away which brings us to the recent news from Hasbro classified this is just going to cover uh, what was announced here in uh, 2024 which was February 29th uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, rundown here uh, the name only was of course Saul Viper and Dial Tone uh, my question is, is which version of Dial Tone? Uh, the male version who is called Jack or the female one that's called Jill? Uh, Jill, of course, was in the Resolute uh, uh, web series, I guess it was. She, she appeared in the comics. Uh, most recently, I recognized her. Uh, I played the G.I. Joe deck building game, and uh, Jill is in the uh, G.I. Joe deck building game as Dial Tone. Are they going to put uh, the female Dial Tone in, or are they going to do, do Jack? Uh, that's a good thing to... Uh, talk about amongst yourselves down below in the comics uh in the pipeline retro beachhead retro cobra eel uh snow serpent i'm the most excited for i'm going on this damn completionist arc so uh, uh i'll probably end up with all three of these but snow serpent is the uh is the highlight on on my list they are kind of my uh favorite uh, sub cobra line uh and finally, Cobra Ferret with a Cobra Scout, which is a female driver. And I'm sure they'll do this. I, I kind of hope that they do a male version as well. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing on, on the female driver. I love the Valkyries line and stuff. Uh, I just like to, uh, you know, to, for balance of the troopers, I would like to see one of each. I'm actually surprised they don't drop both. Well, they probably can't drop both. Maybe they'll do one one until it's kind of sold, sells out, and then they'll probably, like, refresh it and do another version. I'm actually more <laughs> excited about the vehicle than the driver itself. Uh, I kind of what that vehicle for um for some of the dreadnoughts maybe next we're going to move over to the pre-orders uh doc night creeper dreadnought torch finally finally we get the uh the original three dreadnoughts uh done and in this line now to either get them some motorcycles or get them some some ferrets or something you know <laughs> uh also jinx uh dreadnought naga hide with boar and a monkey. Uh, the boar is pork belly, and the monkey is Yabo. This is probably on this list my most favorite and excited one, uh, followed by Torch, uh, followed by Jinx, followed by Doc. 
uh, Night Creeper, eh, whatever. The final thing is the uh, is the uh, Techno Viper with the HMS that goes with the uh, his tank, and I really need that to go with the his tank. Uh, but yeah, Naga Hide, I'm really excited for. Uh, my daughter pointed out to me that uh, I, I just want to build the zoo version of the Joes, and I just want all the animals. And you know what? I don't think she's wrong. I kind of ag agree with that. Uh, I kind of do want the uh, all the animals. I'm actually kind of mad that the tripwire in the new two pack, which uh, oh, I don't think I have this on here. Uh, no, I don't have this on here. Uh, tripwire and uh, Roadblock uh, is two pack was also on pre order. Uh, Target exclusives, uh, Tiger Force Target exclusives. Uh, but the tripwire does not come with the rat. He should have came with the rat. It's not going to break the bank to have thrown the rat into the box with ever with everything else. We can amass an army of rats for tripwire you put an animal with it i think i'm more on board with it than than, than anything else i law and order you got it the version of dusty that comes with a coyote you got it when somebody came with a bobcat you got it uh a deep six that has a dolphin odd but okay <laughs> and that's what i'm most excited for in each category again tell me below uh, what are you interested for or, or do you pass on this line now to the part that you really really have been waiting for this is the part that's been requested uh the njcc finds and hauls let's start with a non njcc find i actually found this at a walmart uh, uh on the way to the show and oh my god this is a walmart that actually has toys on clearance they have all the the, the, the peg warmers all the lady j retros that have been out for years now for for three years and they were actually marked down uh I actually got a second uh, Crimson Guard here for like $16, which uh, hey, I wasn't going to pass it up. So I did find a vintage blow blowtorch. He looks like he hands all of his items. Uh, this is usually how my relationship with Chris goes uh, over at Gorilla Boys Toys. Um, visit him right now. Uh, well, listen to this first and then go visit him. Uh, unless you're listening to this on the uh, on like YouTube Music or Spotify, and then listen to this while you uh, go check him out. But anyway, my re relationship with Chris at, at at the conventions is I'll go and I'll buy a Joe, and then I'll go over to his booth and I will show it to him, and I'm like, all right, tell me what I'm missing. And this guy is an encyclopedia of uh, Joe parts, uh, and if he doesn't know, then he goes to yojo.com. He pretty much knows it without going to yojo.com. And uh, he'll he'll tell me, oh, you're missing this, you're missing this, you're missing this. Uh, I bought the uh, uh, what is it called? It's Cobra Commander in the spacesuit. I, I, he does have a name, but I can't. It's escaping me right now. Uh, but I, I picked him up, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty easy. I'm just missing a gun in a backpack. And I took it over to Chris, and he goes, no, uh, this Cobra Commander has a hose that comes out of his mouth. That's what that hole in his face is for. He's like, good luck with that. And my gosh, he was right. Uh, that hose um, was a pain. Uh, but this boat blowtorch does look like he's complete. I did buy a version of uh, uh, of blowtorch at a, at uh, I think it was like York uh, a few years back, and he was incomplete. And uh, I just bought this one because he he looked complete. This saves me the hassle of hunting hunting down these parts. So uh, maybe I'll I'll repair the other one and just flip it. And I ran into my friend uh, Tim Rosser who was running a booth. He had a modern version. Uh, not not when I say modern, I don't mean classified. I I, I think that's just the classification. I, and I could be wrong, but it's usually the classification of uh, three inch Joes after the original eighties nineties run uh, to now. There's subsets. There's the twenty fifth anniversary collections there's some that came out when renegades came out that rebooted the line there's some that came out with gi joe the live action movie that rebooted the line um so generally and again i could be wrong but generally the modern is the classification of everything from uh you know 2000 up uh, i guess even to now because there hasbro did release some o-rings modern also doesn't necessarily mean that they were o-rings because the uh uh, this this thing does not have an O-ring. Uh, Tim had a uh, modern version of Blowtorch with seemingly all of his parts. He thinks that they're all there, but he doesn't know. Uh, and uh, we were talking about how like Blowtorch was actually one of my favorite uh, toys when I was a kid. He's probably number two after Mutt and Junkyard. 
And he's like, you know what, buddy? That's yours. He's, I, I want you to have this. So he gave me a uh, a modern blowtorch to go with my vintage blowtorch. So it would actually be nice to have them on display with each other up on the, up on the shelf uh, whenever I get my shelves organized. I have a vintage version, I have a modern version, and uh, with the dreadnought torch that's coming out uh, for classified, a lot of the pieces and parts that are for that version of torch. Uh, could actually be carried over for Blowtorch. That's probably a hint for Blowtorch coming into the classified line, uh, which I'm excited for. Uh, the reason why I think this is what was my number two favorite after Mutton Junker, and it's not pork chop sandwiches, it's that he's uh, he's he's red and yellow. Uh, the modern one, the red and yellow, is a little bit more dull, but he is a bright red. I mean, he's almost more orange than red and yellow, and I tend to lean on that spectrum of colors. I, my favorite color is like orange and neons and stuff uh so i think as a child this is was my favorite character just because of his colors alone i picked up the modern uh two pack uh probably probably 25th anniversary well he said he thought it was 25th anniversary uh, it's lieutenant falcon and uh well air quotes nemesis immortal by the 25th was he immortal or was he enforcer by that time uh, it looks like by the 25th anniversary, he was immortal because codename Nemesis Immortal is on his figure stand. Uh, so that's added to the collection and it's seemingly complete. He has his wings and everything. I might quiz uh, Chris on that, but I know that his uh, knowledge of modern three inch shows are kind of limited, but uh, whatever. Pop quiz, hot shot again. What do you do? What do you do? Moving on to comics. Uh, when I was younger, I used to have some of the Marvel Comics G.I. Joe run. And uh, recently, I've been trying to uh, rebuild that run. At the show, I picked up number 56, 77, 79, 83, and 102. As if the numbers mean anything to any of you guys. Uh, but uh, I, I'm just starting this this run, so it's fairly early. I don't have a whole hell of a lot of books. It, it's getting harder for me to complete the run because I don't specifically remember numbers. But I remember covers. <laughs> And I try to pick up covers that look unfamiliar or new to me, uh, but it kind of gets hard because sometimes they, they, they mesh. I had the uh, unmasking issue. Uh, that cover is very iconic to me. Where it's like, I don't know if I've rebought this or if I'm if, if this is a childhood memory. I ended up playing the game at, at the show of, well, what characters are on here that I know I wouldn't have the issues for because I know I didn't have the I, I didn't have those characters. My buying decisions revolved around what the, what was on the cover. This gets sometimes gets a little hard because there are several covers with the Dreadnoughts, Buzzer, Ripper, and Torch on motorcycles that all look the same. Sometimes they're riding left to right. Sometimes they're riding right to left. Sometimes there's only one on a bike. Sometimes there's two on the bike. Sometimes they're riding towards you, the, the the viewer. Sometimes they're riding away from the viewer. Uh, uh, it gets a little bit hard to memorize the cover when they all look summer and they're all dark. So those issues, I'm going to have to start memorizing the numbers and making a checklist. Number 56, I remember because I did have that cover. I did. I remember that from my childhood and I know I didn't have it. Uh, it features Roblox, Scarlet and Flint uh, running away from a chopper and it's like primarily yellow. Uh, the rest of them ended up being, oh, here's Road Pig. I know I didn't have anything with Road Pig. It's featuring Road Pig prominently on the cover. Uh, pulled uh zorana pulled october guard definitely pulled i know i don't have anything with october guard and uh after i just complained about the dreadnoughts uh buzzer chasing a dog it's just buzzer solo on a motorcycle on a darkened cover and he's chasing a dog i was just looking through the pictures and the dog in the book like you do see law and order and you see mutt and junkyard but i think the cover is recalling this this moment that happens with uh junkyard and 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 buzzer and that's not Junkyard that's on the cover. It's totally a different dog. Does Buzzer have a thing against dogs and he's just hunting dogs? Is he the dog hunter? Is that what's going on? I'm just focusing on Marvel Comics. I know IDW expanded on it. Devils Do had some had a run on it. Image had, had a few issues, which I think I had like the first issue of the image run from like the early 2000s late 90s early 2000s image currently has a run they have several runs uh but one run actually picks up from the marvel line uh idw's line also i believe at some point picked up from the marvel line i don't know if devils do ever did i'd have to do some research on that uh but eventually once i start once i have all the marvel i'll probably pick up any issues that continue that specific storyline uh versus like say G.I. Joe Cobra or Cobra Civil War or any of those other books. Uh, G.I. Joe Cobra, which, by the way, is a really good story. You need to read that.
That's recommended. Uh, and before I end this segment with uh, about NJCC, I did say at the top that I was going to talk about something that I passed up, an expense of something that I pa- passed up, but it's something that would have completed my uh, classified line all the way up till now. It was the double zero snake eyes. Uh, two different vendors had him. Um, at a price point that was very reasonable, I just popped into eBay to just to see what the average was was, and it was about half the average. And I, I was back and forth about it. My hang up with the Double Zero Snake Eyes is they printed Snake Eyes himself later on. That version of Snake Eyes, I believe, is out. All the weapons that come with that sna- that version of Snake Eyes um, was pretty much redistributed with uh, Storm Shadow. Uh, granted that the colors would be different. It was with Storm Shadow. It was with the Ninjas. They're molded in different colors. And so the, basically the exclusive thing to that would be the the, Araga, the Aragakashi. I, mean, that's, I can say that in my mind. Ar- Aragakashi. It's the symbol of the clan that Snake Eyes is from. I believe there's a flag and like a, a display stand for all the weapons. Uh, so that's the only really thing that, suppo- that separates it. That and the box itself. So it's like... <sighs> It's uh, the completionist in me is like, yeah, you need to get it because you need to have every single one of them. Uh, but it's like, yeah, do I really? It's not a unique Snake Eyes, I, unless there was the minor changes to the other Snake Eyes that came out. Uh, so basically, you're buying it for a box in and uh, pla- black plastic molded weapons. Now, I I think I debated that for like over an hour of of picking that up. Even debated haggling with the guy and see if I could have gotten like uh, a couple bucks knocked off on it. Uh, which maybe depending on how desperate he was to get rid of it, I might have been able to swing it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I ultimately I ended up passing on it. Now we'll see in a couple of years if I end up regretting that or not. Uh, one of the things that I do want to f- find and i can't really seem to find is is another master of disguise zartan uh with san diego comic-con exclusive i do have a version of it i specifically got it to open on youtube and um now that it's so like insanely priced i'm like do i even want to unbox this now it's been a while since i've recorded an episode uh dealing with my collection or talking about my collection so here's some of the stuff that uh, may have fallen through the cracks uh up till now like i just said that uh, the line is almost complete except for the double zero and any of those weird ass repaints that i'm not really interested in chasing i don't really care if duke's shin guards are now purple instead of silver or whatever repaints that they that that hasbro did i'm not chasing that stuff i have a classified retro snake eyes now in my collection um i just gave up trying to find them at walmart all of our walmarts all around here all have the pegs that are labeled snake eyes they have pegs labeled for retro for crimson guard but they're all choked up with Baroness and, and, and Lady J and in some cases gung ho more recently, I, there's two stores that are near me that are all choked up with Crimson Guard. Uh, it, it, and it's, 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 a, it sucks. I can probably do an entire episode just complaining about Walmart and how they never put any of their, their figures on clearance. And when they do put them on clearance, uh, that they're, they're still marked at the same price. They're still, they're still, like Snake Eyes the movie figures at full price in the clearance aisle with the with the yellow sticker on. I mean, hell, you could go to Ollie's and buy them for like six bucks now, but Walmart still wants that twenty five bucks for those figures, and we won't clear them. <laughs> so I ended up getting Snake Eyes from eBay. I ended up having to buy it from a, a Canadian seller because american sellers all they care about is scalping and they want they want premium prices for a figure uh going going the canadian route i including shipping i think i only paid double of what that figure uh would cost on the peg uh, i'm fine with that i'm happy with that the, the cardboard was kind of pristine until i put it in storage and i dinged it up because you just look at it cross-eyed and all of a sudden you can just see the edges just fold up i'm gonna open it up on camera anyway so the the box kind of doesn't really matter too terribly much to me and i'm glad that i didn't spend hundreds of dollars on the damn thing because like i said it's just going to get unboxed i wanted to loop around back to the crimson guards originally i ordered two crimson guards uh for troop building kind of ideas and when they arrived of course you know they arrived in the uh plastic bags not in a box and banged off of every single gosh darn wall i think whoever packed the box decided to drop kick them down the aisles so they're all bent to hell uh but one of them is not a crimson guard it's a crimson guard package but it's snake eyes so 
technically I have that snake eyes. It's just in the wrong box and I don't want to unbox it because it's on the wrong box. My collection was air quotes complete, but not really good if I, in terms of unboxing because I wouldn't want to unbox that. Unfortunately, like I said, the, 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 the package is all bing to all hell, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so now I do have two versions of snake eyes. A quick shout out to Joshua Brooks uh, from Mojo's on a, a group on, on uh, the uh, Facebooks. Uh, I just recently picked up, so that I don't even have these in hand. I picked up a Renegade's Cobra Commander and an Orge Hooded Storm Shadow. I know the Storm Shadow is missing his sword, so that's going to be a quest uh, looking for uh, modern era weapons. Yeah, that's a little bit hard because I do have a Python Patrol modern era um, Croc Master who's in red, and he was supposed to come with a crocodile who's also red. And trying to find that crocodile is is a pain. It's a pain. Uh, the Renegade's version of Cobra Commander where he's wearing that half mask. And he comes with a, a helmet that does appear to go over top of his his head so that you, if you don't like that version. Uh, first Renegade's version, I'm actually kind of excited for it. I actually kind of like that look of that character. Uh, Renegade's is a little bit late find for me. I like that series. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy to have found that. that. Uh, it will definitely be a unique item on my shelf as well as the orange hooded you know i just said earlier where i like you know my favorite color is orange and i really liked blowtorch because of his colors and now we got an orange and white version of uh, storm shadow and it's like ah yes yes please yes please the creamsicle version of, of storm shadow uh my last year vacation haul i found a completed vintage version of mutton junkyard uh, the only thing he's missing of course is his his little stand that he needs to stand on and a file card uh, but those will be easy to track down he has his mask he has his helmet he has his goggles uh has junkyard of course the leash uh the gun it has everything i will quiz chris on this later on i do have another version that i picked up at i believe york i think it was the same show i picked up the the torch that was incomplete i probably will do the same i'll just try to probably repair it and flip it later on york toy show 2023 i didn't record anything for this but i picked up from that show a complete junkyard and mutt uh modern figure so i have them and it actually includes his stand and his file card uh mask everything uh it appears to be complete i think that's the 25th anniversary edition uh so i have a modern version and a retro version and i have the classified version uh so the trifecta is complete i picked up a zanzibar on the cheap it appears to be complete i, I get these with the idea that i'll oh, maybe i'll have to replace the o-rings and stuff he's pretty solid he has his hair his hair doesn't look like all gummy uh he comes with a skiff all the weapons appear to be on the skiff all the missiles appear to be a skiff skiff's not broken in any any way uh i think this is my first uh vintage um like vehicle that i that i'll have on display one of the targets in the in the uh, vintage collecting is the dreadnought so zanzibar is a, another one to add to the uh the, to the dreadnoughts line <laughs> yeah i brought it back to chris and chris looked it over and he says yeah it looks like it's complete yeah. speaking of uh grill boys toys uh the year before was it the year before or was it retrocon uh he had sold me a vintage sergeant slaughter which includes the baton from his own personal collection uh yeah I just wanted to throw that in there because I don't think I ever got to talk about that. I think that is the York show from last or not last year, but the year before, uh, because I think at RetroCon I picked up a vintage War Duke from him. So if I'm going to keep a running tally on uh, how many of the comics that I have, I don't know how many issues are in the, the uh, Marvel run, but uh, currently my run is total is up to 10, 10 the 11th comic book that I have of the G.I. Joe Marvel line is actually the uh, digest version. It's about the size of your, the, 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 the palm of your hand, like from your bottom of your hand to your fingertips. It's not that big. It's a, it's what they call digest. It's like, a, a, what is it? Archie. Archie comics are, were made this big. It reprints issues one and two of the uh, regular Marvel line. Uh, what caught my eye is it had an autograph on it. And I, I found this at a flea market. This, this comic book caught my eye and it had a signature on it. And I, I asked the guy, I'm like, is that a Herb Trimp signature? Did Herb autograph that? And yes, it is. It is a Herb Trimp co uh, signature. I'm actually considering completing the line. I might actually go for the rest of the digest. They typically don't seem to be uh, super expensive. I think the first issue might have been the most expensive and it still wasn't really all that expensive. And now here's here's something that maybe I need to hear some feedback in the comments about. So I've been tossing around this idea that I, I'd like to maybe add to it like Bob McLeod 
uh, Jim Shooter and Larry Hama uh, autographs on top of what's already on there. Uh, the only downside that I have, or the only hang up that I have, is when you get autographs from Larry Hama, and I have a few, he puts the year on it, and he's uh, pretty persistent about having the year onto his signature. And I don't know if I want to date the cover, you know, modern a modern date. I'd rather just have the signature without the without the year on it. It's kind of my hang up. It's like I do want a Hama signature, uh, but I don't want the year on it. I do have other Hama signatures, and that doesn't bother me as much for whatever reason. It kind of bothers me to do it on this book. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that. I just want to do a quick shout out to, of course, Chris at Gorilla Boys Toys. Um, I, we really need to get him on the show sometime. I keep promising him, uh, promising to do an interview with him and stuff. Uh, pick his brain on his Joe knowledge, not even just the Joe knowledge, just retro toys in general. He's got a really, really good knowledge of all them. And again, uh, visit him on Facebook and, uh, you know, uh, tell him Besto sent, sent, sent you. And he'll be like, who? Who the hell's that? If you're looking to complete your collection, he's one of the guys that you should go to. I also want to shout out Tim Rosser uh, for the donation to the cause. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and if you see him, usually he's uh, with the, the finest cosplay, which are the G.I. Joe cosplayers. Uh, the only go-to cosplay that I can think of is he does Old Snake, uh, which was Cobra Commander in Transformers when they weren't allowed to call him Cobra Commander. Uh, but it's, it's basically, it's Cobra Commander in Transformers. He does a live action version of that which is pretty awesome and i just want to shout out uh josh brooks as, as well uh if you're looking for anything in the modern three inch lines uh and of course thanks a lot for that renegades covert commander speaking of updates i want to hear about your latest additions to your collections have you picked up any new joes lately i'd like to hear your collecting tip tips your display setups are creative ways that you're showcasing your collections and i'll be back with uh, some more geek related matter that matters to you uh i think our next episode we are going to talk about a uh, community poll result 